I am Deepak Patak. I have been a teacher here in IIT for 42 years. Uh, I teach in the computer science department and currently I am in charge of the Akash project. As you are all aware, we are going to conduct a two day workshop for teachers from the Akash remote centers. There are more than 10,500 teachers who are already registered at 243 remote centers and the registration will close tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. The objective of these sessions where I and my team will be interacting with the technical staff at the Akash remote centers is as follows. First of all, you people will be responsible to ensure that the technical setup at each of the remote centers works perfectly. This technical setup includes three important components. One is the audiovisual component, such as the one which we are using right now related to AVU. The technical people responsible for AVU operations at each remote center should ensure that their audio setup is proper, that the internet connectivity is correct and that the AVU login happens well ahead of the beginning of the sessions. Additionally, we will be conducting further tests to ensure that interaction happens with people who are attending the workshop. So that is the first job for the AVU technical team. The next job is to be done by system administrators who are required to provide a server which will run a Linux version which is called Ubuntu. On that server, you will have to install a whole lot of packages. The details of the server installation and the packages will be covered by my colleague, Mr. Abhilash. Like most of you, he is a technical manager and is a senior system administration. Since I got the feedback that many of the technical staff in remote centers are not well versed with Linux, I have requested him to give a brief introduction to Linux itself. This will be followed by instructions on how to install the Linux distribution called Ubuntu onto your local servers. For the purposes of this workshop, you need not have a full-fledged server. If you have a high-end PC, it will be adequate for the purpose of conducting this workshop as long as you are able to load Ubuntu and the necessary packages on that particular uh, uh, desktop. The third aspect for the technical support will be required uh, the, the, the people at your end will be required to provide support for the Akash tablets themselves. Each of the remote centers will be receiving boxes like this, which contain the Akash tablets. So this is how the Akash tablet will look like. It will have a logo at the back and it will have a serial number. The front of the Akash tablet looks a plane like any tablet. When I press the switch here, you will see the Android uh, logo sort of coming up. This will be followed by the Android tablet booting. This runs an operating system called Android 4.0. And after it boots, the tablet will show a signature screen which will have the Akash logo. It may take a minute or so. Coming back to what the technical support team is required to do, when each college receives the number of Akash tablets, so this is 
yeah this is how the akash tablet screen will look like and you can operate upon this by unlocking it and once you unlock you will see a whole lot of applications here there will be an instruction manual which will be sent so you can look at that instruction manual and start working on the screen you can run various applications here for example there are educational contents here and these educational contents can be seen by you so people would be able to look at the pdf contents here are some simple let's take this so this is a this is a bal bharati book for example for the first standard or second standard many more details will be available we'll be putting up these details on the website and on the moodle so when you access the moodle you will get all the instructions the most important technical support that will be required will be that you will have to install specific applications and the contents on every tablet that you will receive unfortunately the tablet deliveries are about to start only from next week we will be shipping these tablets from delhi in adequate numbers to each remote center but it is likely that each remote center will receive these tablets only on 4th or 5th of november in the remaining 3 days the technical staff at your end will have to take out a tablet charge it and install the necessary software and contents and keep them ready for use on the workshop day or 10th and 11th the details about how to handle these things will be communicated to you both during this two day session as well as subsequently through the moodle in a nutshell then let me recapitulate what i just mentioned the technical staff at each remote center is expected to provide technical support for the following three things the first and foremost is the avu technical support which means that the support staff will have to ensure that the internet connection is working properly that the audio visual setup is proper and that you are able to receive the transmitted lectures as also you are able to transmit any interaction if and when requested from iit bombay the second task is for the system administrators who will be required to ensure that a desktop machine is installed with the linux variant which we call ubuntu we had provided the linux iso image and sent these cds dvds to each of the remote centers some of you might have already got them or some of you will get them within the next couple of days i understand that a number of uh, our colleagues in these remote centers are not familiar with linux and therefore as i said my colleague and senior system administrator mr abhilash will be introducing linux today and he will also be introducing how to install linux and how to install other packages so this is the second task that people will have to do the third task is to be is to provide the support for the akash tablets themselves now in these akash tablets which will be delivered to you directly as we receive them from delhi we will not have installed any software applications or contents which were developed in iit bombay all of these will be made available for download from the web and the moodle and once you receive these tablets you will have to install this software and you will have to install the contents on those tablets after which you will have to test these tablets internally i request all of you to set aside your time and perhaps also request some other colleagues to come in and help you because this task may have to be done over the last 3 days before the workshop namely 7th 8th and 9th unless we are able to reach the tablets to you in advance with these words 
I will take your leave for the time being and I will request my colleague Mr. Abhilash to go ahead with his talk on introduction to Ubuntu or introduction to Linux followed by the installation and other procedures. I will come back to you again tomorrow for a short while during the uh, during another session. In conclusion, I would once again repeat that I welcome you all. Please remember that the teachers who will attend the main workshop on 10th and 11th can benefit only to the extent that we technical people support all the technical infrastructure properly. In that sense, this important workshop depends entirely to, on you and on my colleagues like you who provide the back-end technical infrastructure. Please remember, Akash tablets are coming into the country for the first time. They are coming into the country through the route of higher education, particularly technical education. In future years, these tablets will be used increasingly by other students and teachers of higher education such as science, commerce and arts students and subsequently even by school teachers and school students. But the pioneering work is happening through the engineering colleges and I am very proud to announce that you all at 243 remote centers are the first ones in the country to start ushering an era of using these Akash tablets in education. So with this, I will conclude my initial introduction and hand over control to my colleague, Mr. Abhilash. Thank you over and out. See you again tomorrow.